Mangan here back for another video. As you saw this morning, I was checking in with JP. We've dropped another half a kilo, and hopefully you can see that in my physique. Sorry this uh, vlog's a bit disconjointed. That was at half six this morning. It's now quarter to 11. Um, reason it's been just disconjointed is because I had clients this morning. So, plan for today is a Saturday. I'm gonna make a trip to Zone Gin in North London. I went there for the Sean Roden seminar and I thought, you know what, I'm actually gonna head back there to train one day. Today's that day. I'm gonna go and train upper body session there. Why? Switch up the content, switch up the environment, try a new gym. People say to me, why do you drive to go to a new gym? because I like trying new gyms, as simple as that. New vibes, new atmosphere, new kit, new everything. So, second meal of the day right there. I'm gonna chill out, watch some YouTube, enjoy life, and then I'll probably get my pre-workout meal in halfway up the M25, because it's an hour and a half drive to Zone Gym from my house, and then we'll go check out Zone Gym. And um, I also wanna speak about a very important subject at the end of this video, to do with mental health and the effects of bodybuilding on mental health. So if you're new to the channel, guys, Please subscribe. If you're watching, please drop a like. It does help the video an awful lot. And enjoy the vlog. Let's go. See, people complain about eating the same food all the time, right? I've been dieting for 12 weeks. I love this meal, okay? 255, sorry, 250 grams of 5% mince. Two bagels with the butter spray on it. Also, guys, this stuff is crazy. Skinny sauce, smoked barbecue, skinny sauce, tomato sauce. On there, zero calories. Mental! Right, people, what's cracking? Just landed down at Zone Gym. Um, taking me two hours to get here, which is cool. Pre workout meal is nice and loaded. Uh, normal pre workout meal today of oats, blueberries, pear, and the protein. And also uh, some panic pancake, blueberry bomb mix, which will all be on the screen right now to give you kind of an idea of what we're doing. Never been to Zone Gym before, so very excited to train here. Uh, actually, that's a lie. I came here for the Sean Roden seminar. We had a great time. Shout out to Sally if you're watching this for that. But today's an upper session at Zone Gym. I've got my rough rotation of what I need to achieve in this session. So I'm going to try and stick to that, although I know there's going to be some new toys in there I'm going to want to play with. So we're going to kind of alter the, alter the rotation. I'm not too sure what their policy on filming is, although it's not too busy. So hopefully we can get in there, bust some balls, make some gains and uh, get some good content for you guys. All right, guys. So uh, I'm not going to board you all shitless and put loads of stuff in this. I'm just going to keep it nice and short. First thing I want to say is Zone Gym. Oh my goodness me. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. A nice blend of old school kit like you'll see here. And then um, they've got loads of plenty, sorry, plenty of the new hammer strength range as well. So a lot of variety there. Loads and loads of variety, loads of old stuff, loads of new stuff. And just in general, a very nice atmosphere. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, I met the owner of the gym, Andreas, and he's just such a nice guy. Very welcoming, um, not too hard on sales. And just he's a bodybuilder. So it's a bodybuilder's gym owned by a bodybuilder. So that's always going to be good. I just went in there and absolutely crushed today's upper rotation. Like I said, I'm only going to show you the highlights. So first of all, that side raise machine was ancient. It took me a while to kind of get the hold of it, but we got the hold of it and we crushed it. Next up, we had this shoulder press. We've got one of these, the body heats. Um, this is my first working set going down here. I managed to stack it and then I done an AJ Morris and put the plates on the handles which was great. Um, surprisingly, I think, I can't remember how many reps I got here. I think it was eight or 10, something like that. I can't remember. But um, I will, when I go back to zone, I will progress this by putting more weight on the handles. So next step, we're going to put a 10 kilo aside and uh, see how we go from there. But all in all, really enjoyed that machine and um, progressing like always. Just getting that magic milk in, baby. <laughs> no, uh, real talk getting in that two scoops of sustain uh, carbohydrate powder and two scoops of MPS amino acids. I drink that every single intra workout, trained by, trained by JP Nutrition. That's where I get my stuff from. Cool. This machine also felt so good today. I'm not going to lie. This hammer strength machine was on the money. Um, connected my chest very, very well. I thought I was only going to get eight reps. I think I believe I got 12 or 13 really should have gone heavier maybe a three three plates aside and a 10 i love this i prefer it to dumbbells because i can contract harder isolate my chest more forgive me for bouncing i've just really have to get in the right position for this machine to feel it so when i'm correcting my form or my position let's say that's why but very very good i love this over any dumbbell flat press in my opinion so, um, so the under grip lat pull down wasn't going to do this today. Um, although I had a client in the morning, Sam, and I was like, okay, I feel like doing this. So I threw it into my rotation. Like I said in the video, um, I was going to chop and change a little bit because of the new gym. 
You know, if you go to a new gym, guys, and you see equipment that your gym hasn't got, feel free to try it. Although they have got one of these at MuscleWorks, it is one of my favorite movements. So today, I thought I'd give it a shot. This is my back off set, as you can see here. Uh, I think I got 12 to 13 reps, which was nice. Two plates aside. My working set was on three plates aside. Although it was a bit sloppy, I must say. But we polished up nicely with the back off. Okay, weighted dips. Holy mother of God. This was fun. Um, so I got this guy to film it for my Instagram as well because I've never done this before. Obviously, my weight's a lot lower compared to when I first started of Jordan and when we first started doing this. But yeah, 40 kilo weighted dips here. Um, still a struggle. Still watching my form, making sure all the pressure's on my chest. This was very, very fun. Also, this is the tricep daddy. You know what I mean? If you want triceps, you'll never see someone. You'll never, ever see someone who's got small arms who does tricep dips weighted it's just not going to happen um for me this is the daddy of tricep builders it really really is so if you're not incorporating this into your tricep day or whatever whenever you do triceps then that's the day you need to do it right this is a new movement for me as well this flipping row machine was crazy um i've never had a machine that pinpoints the position on my back so well in my entire life really really this machine kicks ass i've done a rest pause here this is round one the thickness in my back, I'm not going to lie, is improving massively. As you can see on this shot, my traps, my lats, my rhomboids are all going crazy here. But really, this machine was awesome. Thank you so much to Zone Gym, and I hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover. Please like and subscribe. absolute session that was uh, i'm not too sure where it is i think it's in like greenwood wood green i'm not even sure where that is i just know it's in north london um address will be in the, the description box below but seriously as you've seen in the video the equipment there is a mix between like old school bodybuilding kit and new stuff very 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 good just got home post-workout cereal going in on the plus side Jordan has responded to my check-in and he's very, very happy. He's making some changes, which I will go through possibly in a future video for you guys. But on the plus side, Jordan's very happy. We've got like two or three more weeks of digging deep and then getting my, my myself in a position to then go back up the food, reverse diet and grow some more tissue, baby. But for now, guys, believe me, I'm bloody starving. So I'm going to enjoy my cereal now. It's just basically 125 grams of cereal and 50 grams of the Muscle Sport Lean Whey Cinnamon Crunch, which is outrageous, but I'm gonna enjoy this now because I'm flipping starving, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Good morning, guys. It's currently the next day. I'm not gonna lie, last night's workout just led me into a very, very tired state, and I was very hungry. I thought the only way I'm gonna do this is if I go to bed, so I did. Anyway, welcome to segment two of the video, and in this segment, I'm just gonna let it roll. Um, I'm going to talk about mental health and bodybuilding and how it's affected my mental health in the good ways and the bad ways and I feel like a lot of you guys and girls will be able to relate to this. So first things first, if you're suffering with mental health or you've had mental health issues, then yeah, you're not alone. Don't feel that way because you're just not because I'm with you. Um, so if you could share this video with someone who, who also has mental health issues to kind of help help them understand that they're not alone and hopefully this message can get through to them and they're feeling better about their day um yeah then please please do okay guys so the first thing i'm actually going to say is the gym in general is such a great way to help organize or to help prevent mental health problems because you're going to the gym you're going to release endorphins you're going to start getting results which meaning you're going to start looking after your body which means you're going to start looking better which means you're going to feel more confident blah 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 so if you are watching this and you don't actually have the gym in your life and you do have anxiety or depression then i very much recommend heading to the gym Get a, get a training session and a nice heavy training session, you'll feel, you'll feel a lot better. Especially once you start seeing results, you'll grow more confident, you know the drill. Alright, so I guess it's kind of two parts to this story because obviously you don't just start bodybuilding when you start the gym, you start like the more fitness road, etc, etc. So I guess when you first start the gym, it's great because you go in the gym, you start getting results, you start feeling more confident, you start, you know, having somewhere to channel your, your problems, so your anxiety, your depression, whatever your, your, your problems are, you have somewhere 
where where you can channel that okay and that's great that starts building your confidence and that starts taking away you know the anxiety all that sort of stuff that's great but I feel like as you kind of move into the more bodybuilding area of fitness let's say then there becomes pros and cons to mental health so for example I am someone that is how do I say this? For example, the gym has made me more confident, but in the same way, it's made me even more insecure. So it's like two steps this way and two steps that way all the time because I'm I'm constantly trying to change my body because I don't feel it's good enough. And a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just, you know, why don't you settle with what you've got? And I'm like, because I'm, I'm I don't see what you guys see. I'm not I'm not good enough to do what I need to do. So I need to keep trying. So in a way. A lot of the bodybuilders in this game are insecure because we're constantly wanting more. We're never going to be satisfied with what we actually have. And that's the crazy thing. Although we might be more confident and we might you might see us posting Instagram photos of us in our boxes and checking off our coaches like, like me and everyone else. The thing is, like, we're not satisfied with what we have. That's the bottom line. That's why we spend hours in the gym in the first place. Do you know what I mean? That's why we we have, you know, we obviously take steroids for competition reasoning, but it helps with that fear of not looking good enough. Do you know what I mean? So that's why we're in the gym all the time anyway, to kind of level our bodies up. Because at the end of the day, if... That I, I believe there's always a there's always a deeper reason for someone being in the gym, okay? It's never just I'm in the gym and I get some people have good stories, not everyone comes from doom and gloom. But what I'm trying to say is I, I get the impressions that in every gym you go to, majority of the people will be in there for a deeper reason. It won't just be I'm in the gym. Because uh, I want to train, it will it will actually be a deeper reason. Like I've got depression, or I've got anxiety, or I broke up with my girlfriend, or something. There'll be a like a negative, and they're trying to like turn it into a positive by coming to the gym, which is great. But it just shows that everyone that you see in the gym, you know, next time, pay attention because it's quite interesting when you when you use that mindset that the majority of people training in your gym probably have very very deep issues. And I'm not saying everyone does, but I I. Do believe the majority of them will okay guys so just a background on my mental health before I was even into the gym um, I was a very shy guy I did have counseling for anxiety and depression um, I was in a very very dark place at school so I kind of did come from a background of being mentally ill we could say um, and the thing is I don't think I, I did have some things going on at school that made my life a challenge although for me I think I was actually more because there's a thing right I think a lot of people have you know bad lives and that's why they're mentally ill I was just mentally messed up so my mental state was I wasn't I wasn't feeling depressing and having anxiety because of my life I was having it because of my the chemicals in my brain were messed up my way of thinking was so dark and so bad that's why I was having you know the the things that I'm having because I was actually just mentally ill and then I started going to the gym, guys. I started getting more attention from girls, and that's not the sole reason I was going to the gym. But it, let's face it, it starts it starts adding up in your confidence. Okay, it, these little things add up your confidence. So, example, let's face it, getting attention from the opposite sex smash your confidence up. Getting results from the gym smash your confidence up. You know, starting to look bigger in t-shirts confidence up. My point, you know what I mean. Um, and then I kind of thought I'm going to take this to the next level. I'm going to start stepping on stage. I'm going to compete because I really did fall in love with the sport. And don't get me wrong, guys, I still love the sport, but it does have its mental issues and its mental problems, which I will now address. So competing, what are you doing? You're comparing yourselves to other people. And that's exactly what you shouldn't be doing if you think about it. You should be staying on your path and concentrating on your physique and your goal and your dream. But in, com in the competitive field, we're literally being compared to other people to be told if we're good enough. That is literally a booby trap. We're stepping into the fire on this one, okay? Think about it. We are comparing ourselves to this person and this person to potentially be told we're not, we're not as good as either of them. It's a booby trap. Imagine prepping for six months, getting on stage and then being told you're not good enough. There's a lot of people that can't hold that mental fortitude to kind of think, you know, okay, I wasn't good enough, I'm going to come back better. A lot of people get soul destroyed from that, you know, because they obviously come from a background of anxiety, like previously, and then they get told they're not good enough. They're told, they get told, you know, someone else is better than them, and that makes them feel crap. You know what I mean? Then what happens then is they don't actually want to go to the gym anymore. They don't want to compete. They don't see a purpose in anything. And then lose that entire drive because of that one 
um, unfortunate decision or that one emotion. Do you know what I mean? So competing, you literally are jumping in the fire. I'm not even going to lie. If you have anxiety, you will suffer from anxiety on prep. You're constantly feeling, am I good enough? Am I good enough? Am I good enough? Will I be ready? And that's normal on prep. But I feel for the people who've had mental problems beforehand to then go on prep, it's a lot worse. A lot, lot worse. Because you are literally reopening the demon from years ago or current state for some people and giving it all the fire it needs to burn. So you need to be very, very strong in the sense that you know you're going to open your anxiety, you know you're going to leave yourself vulnerable and you need to know how to cope with it and how to cope with, for example, not placing at shows, not looking your best, not having good sessions in the gym, you know, feeling like crap, all that kind of stuff. You need to learn how to channel if you want to do competitive bodybuilding or competitive whatever. Um, because at the end of the day, bodybuilding, men's physique, bikini models, bikini fitness, whatever category you're competing in, it's very cutthroat, it, guys. It's very, very cutthroat. It. And it is very direct. They will just tell you you're not good enough. They will tell you why you didn't place. They will tell you this, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Do you know what I mean? So it's one of those things where you need to have your head channeled in so much that you can't you can't let your anxiety take you because if you let it take you it will destroy you As mental health is like such an important part of life we need to make sure that it's absolutely optimal as much as we can and i feel in the sport that i am in bodybuilding and people men's physique and watching people comp compete in just every category there's a lot of mental health problems not only that there's a lot of men there's a lot of eating disorders you know especially in the you know a lot of athletes come off stage and start creating other problems for themselves which then leads to more mental health issues you know so for example um i'm I don't want to. I don't want to use this as an example, but someone like a bikini girl might come off stage and binge, you know, her whole weekly calories in one day, and she's going to feel crap for that. She's going to feel anxiety for that. She's going to feel depressed for that, and then she her relationship with food is going to be absolutely hammered. You know, she's not going to learn when to stop. She's not going to learn, you know, okay, this is enough, which is going to lead to more mental illness. So it really, bodybuilding and competitive, especially the competitive side of it, is very riddled with, let's say, booby traps for mental health illness, mental health triggers, and eating disorders. Another thing that I completely messed up with, with my first show, I was completely... I mean, I was stalking everyone in my lineup on Instagram, just trying to see what they look like. And then every time I found someone who'd been training three years longer than me, I looked at them, I was like, I'm, I'm, there's no chance I can do this. Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to beat this person or I even look good next to this person. And that really mentally destroyed me as well. Obviously, in that prep, I managed to push through. But there's another opportunity for mental health, you know. So I think in the competitive side of bodybuilding, mental health, is there massively and it can be jeopardized hugely or it can be strengthened okay it's weird because like i said it's like we go two steps this way and then two steps this way it's at the same time it's really really weird so ultimately we end up in the middle but yeah guys i just wanted to address that in this video i feel like it's something that needs to be addressed because a lot of people see us and they're like no he must be happy because he's got a great body and he competes and blah 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 and he's got a six pack it's not actually like that there's nothing to do with any of that, you know, it's mental illness, it's mental problems. Why do you think we're in the gym trying to fix ourselves in the first place? Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, you know, I just wanted to put the message out there. Like I said, guys, uh, if you could share this with someone who does, you know, do does have mental illness uh, and you feel like they could be motivated from it or they could not necessarily feel motivated but kind of feel more part of something, you know, part of... A, not a, I want to say a club, but the, the, the point is they're not alone, they're not on their own, you know, there's a lot of people in this industry that have it, and I reckon the majority of us have it, we just aren't really, um, we aren't really aware of it, that's the thing, if you just break down of what we do, break down what we're doing, in a hardcore, like, perspective, we're taking loads of drugs, to do loads of workout, to do loads of cardio, to diet really hard, to go compare ourselves to others, crazy mental why are we doing that because in my opinion we're looking for that you have won feeling right you're looking for that you're good enough feeling and half the time we just get told we're not good enough and that is bodybuilding half half of the time we don't win three quarters of the time we don't win and that smashes our mental state so it's literally like we're building ourselves up 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 bang 
build it up. Bang! But yeah, that is it for the video, guys. I've got to film another video for you guys today. So I'm going to be leaving this camera now and then turning it back on. I appreciate you for watching this, guys. I hope some of you, or at least one of you, can take some positive away from this. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.